In the past, women seeking breast implants were forced to choose between saline that provided peace of mind, right? Or the more realistic look and natural feel of silicone gel. But times have changed, they really have. Now, next generation technology is offering the benefits of both so women can feel beautiful and secure. It's fantastic. Here to tell us more are board certified plastic surgeons, Drs. Constance Baroni and Claire Dougal. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you so much. Great to have you. All right, so I think this is a really important conversation because I technology has really changed when it comes to implants. That's uh, absolutely would you agree, right. Dr. Yeah, Baroni? It's exciting. And, and people not only want a good choice, but the right choice. And they want a safe choice. And a safe choice. That's absolutely right. And things are changing? They are very much changing. We're here to show you some new technology in breast implants, saline versus silicone, what can happen with both. We're going to discuss some of those statistics today, which are exciting. Now, I know you brought an example here, Dr. Dougal and Dr. Baroni. Here we have a ruptured silicone implant, correct? A lot of people sometimes just concerned about rupture. There's another word that I read here, big word that I'd love you to talk about, capsule contracture. Those are just risks involved, right, Dr. Dougal? Yeah, you're right. And um, so both rupture and capsular contracture are two risks that can happen during breast augmentation or implant-based surgery and they can happen with all types of implants. All right, we have an example here. Dr. Baroni, tell me what this is and what so actually occurred. So this is a silicone implant, and this has a open area that has ruptured. <gasps> Look at and that, we show that again. you can see that this is very sticky and very difficult to remove surgically. So when it ruptures, it's, a, it's very difficult to remove all the silicone. And you can see how sticky it remains and that is why the FDA has said we want women who have gotten silicone implants to get an MRI at three years and every two years thereafter and also to change out their silicone implants every 10 years. And this is obviously something that women have to keep in mind, right, Dr. Dougal, because of the facts that this can happen. Yeah, absolutely. I think that implants in general are not meant to be lifetime devices or in you, and so it's important to have them monitored and checked. Um, to make sure that they're still working. Dr. Baroni, you mentioned an FDA, and there is a trial that I'd like you to share with our viewers that I think really puts this all in numbers and in perspective. Yeah, share this that with is them. the eight-year FDA clinical trial. And what they showed in primary breast augmentation patients, a capsule contracture rate of 6.6%. Now, compared to the gels, they go up anywhere from 10.9% to 16.2%. What does that mean? That means scar tissue forming around the implant. And sometimes, if you get that silicone leakage, it becomes calcified. They also looked at a deflation or a rupture rate. And with the ideal breast implant, it's 2.1% versus the other companies. All right, so let's just get into the ideal implant, yeah. Dr. Dougal. Why don't you tell us what it is and how it's just changed the whole panorama? So I think probably the most important word is that it's a very different implant. So this is a new category of breast implant. It's called a structured implant. And instead of just having a single outer shell, like a traditional saline implant. That's Which would be this one right exactly here. Exactly, right there. So when that's filled with salt water or saline, the, water, the, um, the saline can move freely, like almost like a water balloon. So it didn't have a particularly natural feel. This ideal implant is a series of implant shells that are nested together. Oh. And those shells create two chambers within the implant, and that separates the saline so that it is, it is more controlled how the movement is. And, and the, that, Dr. Dugo, I think is on the set as well. Can you show absolutely. us that as well? Yep. So this is that new technology of a series of nested shells. What the most important thing about what this does is it really provides support to the outside of the implant so you get less rippling. <gasps> you have a more natural feel. What a difference. Dr. Baroni, any feedback from patients in terms so, of how they feel? And Absolutely. When patients come in to see me, I present all options to them. And I talk to them about the fact that here's a silicone implant, what the FDA recommends with that. I show them the old saline implant. Mm -hmm. And what people never liked about this implant was the fact that it felt like a balloon. It wasn't belaudable. It didn't have that soft feeling like you see with silicone. 
Also, if you deflate because it fills with one valve, you're flat just like this. Completely. And that doesn't instill confidence. So with the new ideal implant, there's a fill tube in the front and in the back. So a complete deflation would be incredibly uncommon. Honestly, what I see here, Dr. Dougal, is peace of mind. Uh, absolutely. These are FDA approved in the United States and also in Canada, but I've had patients travel from overseas, from Europe, where it's not available just because for them this feels like the right choice. Thank you so much, ladies. Great information, and I do want to share with our viewers, if you'd like more information on this new technology, it's Ideal Implant. Dot com. That's idealimplant.com or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. That I find to be really